ya voy a cerrar. Hi, good evening to everyone. Uh, welcome um, again to uh, pre in pre advanced level. Um, I don't know. I, I just need to confirm if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. No. Good evening, yes. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know that, Elvin. Okay. Uh, guys, uh, well, today we're going to start with the activity that I left yesterday. Um, a, hi, good evening, Angela. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Um, I was telling you that uh, we're going to start with the activity that I left yesterday. It, this is about the sentences that you have to uh, uh, create for today. Just one second. Okay. 
So, uh, do you work on that activity? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. So, um, tell me, what are the sentences that you have? Can you share yes. those sentences to the rest of the class? Yes. Okay. And uh, the past continue uh, uh, simple past. Yes. The past continue. We were watching the movie with my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I was studying English class in support. Okay, very good. Um, the quest, uh, the negative. Mm -hmm. They were not playing video game. Okay. Uh, he was not dancing in the park. park. Okay. Good. In the simple past, uh, one moment. the simple past is um, they, they didn't not work on September 16th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm on. Uh, I didn't not do do my homework last Monday. Okay. In <laughs> <laughs> um, affirmative, my parents started in the USA. I drove in the traffic two hours. Okay, good. Uh, yes, the, those are good sentences. Very good, excellent. Good job, Angela. Uh, anyone else who wants to share with us the sentences that you uh, wrote for today? I mean, tonight class. Gen C. Okay, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, sentences. Um, um, plus. Simple past. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, con past continuous. Um, it is what the first sentence it was raining all day. Mm -hmm. um, it was, I was watching my favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, negative sentence. He was, he was not running in the park. Uh, they were not playing tennis this morning. Um, simple pass. I I did exercise today. Uh, she ate pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, he arrived there hours ago. Um, Negative sentences. Mm -hmm. He didn't not finish his English assignment. Assignment. <laughs> um. They didn't go to work. Okay. Finish. Okay. Very good. Excellent. You did a good job, Jency. Very good. Um, Thank you. Anyone else who wants to chat? Um. He has the sentences. Me teacher. Okay, Mr. Barona, go ahead. 
Okay. Past continuous, uh, they were meeting every day at night. Mm -hmm. I was playing basketball last Saturday. Mm -hmm. And negative, uh, she wasn't working the last Friday. I wasn't working in home on vacation. On simple past, uh, I worked every day in February month. They are tired after work every day. Mm -hmm. Negative, she didn't love the cats. He didn't try to run on the stadium. Okay, very good, good examples. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, you did uh, uh, an excellent job, sir. Uh, well, anyone else who wants to share with us the sentences? Nobody else? Okay, nobody else. Uh, guys, um, I have an activity uh, for you. This is a, a practice activity. We're going to be solving a word search uh, where we're going to find two different uh, um, uh, type of verbs. We're going to find there the simple present uh, and also, well, I want to say the simple present is the infinite form of the verb, but also we're going to find there um, the past form of the verbs. Just let me share to you my screen. Um, let me hear this part. Okay, just give me one moment. I, I think you can see this activity. I don't know if, if it is visible for you. Is it? Can you see this this activity? Yes. This word search? I see. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Just just take a look yes. of this part. There you get to find uh, all words in uh, the infinitive form and also in the past form. All these words are considered irregular words. Um, you're gonna you're gonna find them in pairs. Like a uh, gets gonna be in present. God's going to be in past. And uh, the same way is run, run, give, gave, seen, sent, make, made, speak, spoke, meet, meet, stand, uh, stand, stood, uh, read. Uh, I think read is, is um, the in the same way in, in, in present and past. That's why it is not repeated. Um, swim, swam, write, wrote, eat, and ate. So there you have the, the, all those birds. That, those birds are like the common birds uh, or the common regular birds that we use in English. Um, you are going to solve this activity and you're going to have just, just 10 minutes is enough in order to solve it. But I consider that you're gonna finish this activity uh, before then, then the time that I will I will assign to you. Okay, that are this case in minutes. Okay, there you have. I, I already yeah. shared the link. I don't know if one of you wants to share uh, the link uh, to the uh, WhatsApp group. Is it is uh, if it is possible, please just share that link there because I don't have access to. Uh, right now, I don't have access to uh, uh, to. Was it web? So I can assure that link there. If you can do it, please share it to the rest of your classmates. Is it working, Link? Is it working? The link is working? Yeah. Just yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know that. So 10 minutes, uh, we're going to finish. Um, it is 8.15, so that's good. That's mean that we're going to be finish, finishing this activity um, at 8.25, okay? If you finish before that time, please just let me know, just right here. A done or a I finish. So you, you decide what you want to, to write another team form that you have already complete that activity, okay? Because if, if all of you finish before that time, we're going to uh, go through the other lessons that we're going to be discussing.
Pues pensé que estaba dormido. Sí. Okay, guys, time is over. Uh, did you already complete this activity? Yes? No? No, oh, teacher. Is it hard? Is that difficult? Yes. Sí. Yes. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, it's very difficult. Okay. Okay, bien, les voy a dar este tres minutitos más. ¿Creen que termine en tres minutitos? Yes. Bye, excelente.
Muy bien, eh, time is over. Eh, I was just checking some of eh, the screenshots that you have already seen. I just, eh, well, just, just checking that um, Jose Portillo, Jocar, and, um, let me see, what is the name of? Mm -hmm. I, I, <laughs> I can identify who is the last one to send the, the screenshot. Because I don't have a name. It doesn't have a name on it. Well, and, and I have not that number two. It has a score of a 743 seconds, but I don't know a name. What's the last one who sends the, the screenshot? Me, teacher. You. Oh, Mario. Okay, just let me <laughs> add the number to my context. What about the other ones? Okay. What about the other ones? You haven't finished that activity yet? 
it was difficult. Oh, someone's an an. It's it's finished. Okay. Me teacher. Yes, An uh, Angelica, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, you did it in oh wow, you did it exactly in nine hundred seconds. <laughs> very good. Um, uh, uh -uh. let me just verify here. Okay, good. Good scores. But there are just four. <laughs> and what about the other ones? ¿Qué, qué hay de los demás? Todavía no la han terminado. Bye. Este, eh, si no lo han terminado, no se preocupen. Este, pueden, eh, si gustan, trabajarlo luego. Eh, y envían la captura como evidencia pues, de que este, al final pues, lo completaron. Eh, quiero ahorita este, compartirles eh, mi pantalla eh, y mostrarles el objetivo este, que corresponde para esta noche. Eh, solo un segundito, déjenme ver. Aquí está. Sí, esto. Y vamos a compartir el sonido de igual forma. Muy bien. So, uh, just take a look at this lesson I've yeah, it. it says, in this class, we will learn about key develop skills, listening for details. Um, develop note-taking skills and listen to new stories. Okay, this is going to be the aim of this activity. Um, oh, we are going to do that? Well, we are going to listen a, broad, a broadcast. Have you ever uh, listened a broad, broadcast before? No? Yes? No. Okay. Um, well, uh, for uh, this coming week, you are going to to listen a, a podcast that's something similar to the broadcasts, but a, a podcast uh, are just audios. But I will share that information later to you because that's going to be the activity. Um, what I want you to do right now is to pay attention to this part. It's news uh, broadcasts. Uh, so it's basically um, a it broadcasts about news, about things uh, that happen every day. Um, we, here we have an uh, an instruction, and I mean an instruction, uh, some uh, questions there uh, about what we have to do. It says what happened, okay? And um, there you are going to find six different questions. The first question it says where did the first study happen? We're going to identify if, if it wasn't. Australia, Thailand, or in California. Um, what happened on the first study? Wanna identify that. The second story, uh, what happened on the second story? So then we are going to identify. And in that way, we're going to answer all six questions. But this information, we are going to get it from um, this video. So that's why we're going to watch it right now. Please pay attention to the audio. Uh, and also the information that's being shared in order to answer those questions, okay? I'm going to play it right now. Let me know if you cannot listen that uh, the, the audio of this broadcast, okay? Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. 
The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, there we have the information. Um, just, we, we're going to take a look at these uh, questions and, and we want to identify first. Where did the first study happen? In Australia, Thailand, or in California, in Hollywood, California? In Thailand. Thailand, okay, very good. So number two, what happened uh, on the first study? A man was almost strangled to death by a snake. Uh, two teenage girls who disappeared were found. Two police officers were rescued by the thief they were chasing. So which is the correct answer? What happened in the, on the first study? One, two, or three. Hello? The first option? The a first man option. was almost strangled to death by a snake. Okay, yeah. wanna check? We're, we're going to check all answers later at the end, okay? Um, where did the second story happen? Australia, Thailand, or Hollywood, California? The second story, where it, uh, where it happened? Okay, guys. Or you want to listen the audio again? Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, just take a look at the questions that we have here, and then we are going to be answering all of them. Pay attention um, again to this audio, okay? Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, um, here we have. So... Where did where did the second story happen? Um, Australia. In Australia, yes, Australia. Australia. 
Okay, what happened to the say uh, on the second story? Um, the second my... two teeny girls. Okay. Two yes. teenage girl who disappeared were fun. Okay. And what about the third story? What what yeah. did their story happen? In Hollywood. In Hollywood. In Hollywood. And <laughs> this is a funny story. Two police. Okay. Yeah, the last one, right? Two police officers were rescued by the thief. They were chasing. So <laughs> yes, imagine. Um, well, the the <laughs> The tips uh, rescuing um, the, the two police officers. <laughs> okay, so uh, wanna check, wanna check. Um, there you have some all answers are correct. That means that we have 33 points uh, that correspond for this activity. Well, we're going to move on. We're going to go to um, the next lesson objective. And it, in this lesson objective, it says, by the end of this lesson, you will learn how uh, you will learn to use the past perfect tense. Okay, we're going to take a look of this. Um, basically, what we are going to be doing is just a past perfect overview because it's supposed that you have already discussed this um, uh, topic before in some other uh, models. Uh, we're going to see the uh, positive and negative statements and also the a interrogative form or the past perfect questions. Okay, the, there you have the information. Uh, we want to start with um, identifying about um, when do we use the past perfect, and also we are going to um, identify um, what is the structure of the past perfect, but also when do we have uh, to situate the moment uh, that something happened using the past perfect. Okay, there you have the, um, the chart also and a graphic in order to um, verify that. Just pay attention to this small things and then we're going to be uh, discussing and turning all the information that wanna wanna listen here. Okay, pay attention. Hi everyone, by the end of this class, you'll be able to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. I'll explain the structure in a little bit, but the most important thing to remember about this topic is how and when to use it. Therefore, I would like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I, I gave to you in uh, just a couple of seconds ago. Um, I let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend, but uh, when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Okay, so if we think about that example there, what I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occur in the past and it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea it will outline what I'm trying to express I went to a party last week this is what took place last weekend so that is that X if you will all right but when I got there my friends had eaten all the food and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that in a different color um, my friends had eaten all the food. This is the event in the circle that you see there. This happened before I got to the party. So whenever I say I went to a party last weekend and my friends ate all the food, what that means is that I went to the party and when I got there, there was food at the party and my friends ate it. But that's not really what I want to express. What I really want to explain is that I went to the party and there was no more food left because something had happened before that and that was the fact that my friends ate the food. So that's why this is really important. You need to know when to use this particular topic. So I'm going to continue to give you more examples. Now let's look at the examples on the chart. As you can see the examples on the chart um, refer to uh, basically it's a uh, it's a person that uh, was at the gym and uh, he forgot 
to lock his locker. And therefore, this is what took place. Right? As we'll analyze the examples that are there, I was working out and I have put my stuff in my locker. All right, wait, let, let's stop there for a second. I was working out is the past event. That's that X, if you will. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to relate the second event to that past event and I have put my stuff in my locker. So th that I have put my stuff in my locker is the past perfect event that happened before this past event. So it's that little blue circle that you see there. When I came back, that's that event there. That's the uh, past event, okay? Someone had stolen my wallet. So um, I came back, but before this event, someone had stolen my wallet, all right? They were able to steal it. That's the past event. So that's that X, if you will. Because I have forgotten to lock the locker. All right, now that is the past perfect event, as you can see there. Let me just give one last example here. I didn't have any money because I had forgotten my wallet at home. So what I want to explain is that I didn't have any money, but I want to give a reason on why I didn't have any money. So I'm talking about two events from the past. One is that I didn't have any money. That's that X that you see there. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, highlight that in uh, a, let me go ahead and highlight that in a greenish color. Second, all right. And um, before this, I want to explain that I had forgotten my wallet at home. And that's the reason why I didn't have any money, right? So as you can see, both events are um, related. Okay, guys. Um, just take a look of this uh, part uh, using the, the uh, past perfect tense. Uh, and, and I want to show you this past. part first. And, and, now, and I'm going to switch to Spanish in order to explain this part, okay? Um, cuando nosotros utilizamos el pasado perfecto, este, tenemos que um, eh, tener este, un punto eh, bien claro. Eh, en el uso del pasado perfecto, este, siempre vamos a necesitar a nosotros eh, un evento que ha ocurrido antes de que otro evento o otro periodo de tiempo este, ocurriese en el, en, en el, en el pasado. Eh, aquí vamos a involucrar dos elementos, un evento pasado y un evento este construido eh, en base a un pasado perfecto. Vean esta gráfica que se, que se muestra aquí. Cuando nosotros utilizamos el pasado perfecto y tal cual utilizamos pues, en la oración que él está mostrando, que dice, I went to the party last weekend, but when I go there, my friends has eaten all the food. Eh, nos está indicando que este evento ocurrió en el pasado, ¿sí? Yo fui a una fiesta la semana, el fin de semana, pero cuando yo llegué, eh, mi, eh, mis amigos que estaban ahí ya se habían comido eh, todos oh. los alimentos, ¿sí? Ahora, veamos el contexto de, de, de esta oración. Estamos haciendo referencia a un, a, a un suceso que ocurrió en el pasado, ¿sí? Y en la segunda oración, eh, estamos mostrando nosotros este, una acción que ocurre justo antes de nosotros este, eh, hacernos presente eh, al lugar pues, que, se, que se menciona ahí. El evento, cuando nosotros eh, vamos a utilizar el pasado perfecto, el evento nos va a indicar una acción ocurrida con anterioridad al evento que ocurrió en el pasado. Eh, para explicarme un poco mejor, digamos, eh, la acción principal, el evento en pasado, es que yo este, fui a una fiesta. Desde ahí ya tenemos nosotros nuestro evento digamos, eh, macro, que nosotros hacemos referencia. Yo fui a una fiesta. Segunda, eh, la segunda parte nos dice 
que yo llegué a esa fiesta, ¿sí? Pero al momento que yo llegué, otro evento en el pasado ya había ocurrido. Diga, supongamos que nosotros estamos haciendo referencia este, eh, a, al evento de la fiesta, que sería, en este caso, estaría representado por el círculo. Esta sería este, la fiesta. Y el evento que, que, que este, estoy mencionando es que yo fui a esa fiesta que ocurrió en el pasado. Ahora bien, cuando yo llegué, estamos haciendo referencia a la X. ¿sí? Es un evento que estaba ocurriendo y yo llegué. ¿Sí? Eh, eh, esa, esa expresión de yo estuve ahí o yo al momento que yo llegué eh, me va a indicar a mí o me va a permitir a mí utilizar la estructura del pasado perfecto para hacer referencia a un momento en el pasado en el que este, un suceso había ocurrido ¿sí? antes de que yo llegara ese evento nosotros siempre lo vamos a expresar haciendo uso del pasado perfecto. Ahora, ¿por qué no utilizamos nosotros el pasado simple para expresarlo? Si sí, podríamos decir, ah, por ejemplo, eh, él nos muestra una oración aquí. Veamos, creo que por aquí está. Eh, 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 vamos a ver, aquí está. Veamos, ¿por qué no decimos nosotros I went to the party last weekend and my friends ate all the food? Eh, yo fui a una fiesta la semana, el fin de semana pasado y mis amigos eh, se comieron todos los, se comieron todos lo, los alimentos, la comida, ¿sí? ¿Por qué no utilizo esa, esa estructura en sí? Bueno, por el simple hecho de que si yo expreso mi oración haciendo uso del pasado este, eh, simple, con otro pasado simple, estoy indicando que yo fui a la fiesta. Cuando llegué a esa fiesta, mis amigos comenzaron a comer, ¿sí? O sea, a partir de ese momento que yo llegué, mis amigos comenzaron a, a comer los alimentos. Ahora, yo estuve presente en ese momento. Sí, sí, lo expreso de esa manera. Eh, estoy indicando pues, que ese evento ocurrió justo después de que yo eh, eh, llegar a ese lugar ahora en la otra eh, en la otra estructura haciendo uso del pasado perfecto ese evento ya había ocurrido al momento de que yo llegué este, a, esa, a, a esa fiesta ¿sí? eh, hace referencia hace referencia directa a un evento este, al cual, en el cual yo no estuve presente, ¿Sí me doy a entender Yes, teacher. Correct. Yes, teacher. Vaya, muy bien. Lo quería hacer en español porque este suele ser como un poco confuso a la hora de explicar este cómo se utiliza el pasado perfecto. Ahora, veamos. Eh, nosotros este estamos haciendo aquí eh, un ejemplo este únicamente con el uso del pasado simple. Pero de igual forma, para nosotros hacer una referencia a un evento en el pasado, tenemos la otra estructura que es hacer uso del eh, pasado continuo. Eh, y aquí hay algún, algún par de ejemplos. Dice, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. Okay? I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. So that means that something happened before that a past event. Just take a look of the second one. It says, when I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. When I came back. So that means that someone has stolen my wallet before I arrived to that place. Okay? So an event that it happened just before the moment uh, that I'm referring to in the past. Because the moment that I'm referring to in the past It's like the one uh, we're gonna check here in, 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 in this part, in, in the X, okay? So this is the moment that I'm referring to, but the moment that happened just before, um, it's gonna be always expressed in past perfect. Take a look of the uh, sentence number three, and it says, they were able to steal it because I had forgotten to lock 
the locker. They were able to steal it because I had forgotten to lock the locker. So at the moment I'm, and at the moment that I'm expressing this passive end, uh, this other um, or the one that I'm expressing in, in past perfect has just uh, happened in a moment in the past. Okay, so uh, basically that's how um, the past perfect work. Uh, the uses, uh, just take a look of the use here and, and then uh, if you want, we're gonna move on to the um, uh, affirmative and negative structures. But uh, it says, um, use the past perfect for an event that occurred before another event or time period in a past. What it said, a uh, time period, because we can just uh, specify in a specific moment uh, that um, has like, uh, for instance, um, it has a beginning and it has uh, an end, but in the past. So we, th this action never occur or never goes through the present. It always keep in the past uh, because it starts in the past and finish in the past. That's what it's mean. Uh, when we say that uh, we, if we refer to time periods. Um, okay, just, we're gonna move on to the next part, to the next video, oh no. I think uh, that we are not going to have enough time in order to uh, check the other, uh, the other video, but we're going to do it tomorrow, okay? Because we are going to have classes tomorrow, Friday. Remember that we are going to um, it had classes because the, the, we missed one the last week that it was on Friday. Uh, it's supposed that we had some Friday, no, well, at the, at the first moment it was on Thursday, but you know, uh, it was uh, September 15th, so we moved that class to uh, September 16th, that's, that was the last Friday, but uh, if you remember the announcement that the, the government did uh, the last uh, the date, so uh, we couldn't uh, complete that class. So we are going to complete that class. We're going to have that class uh, and we're going to attend that class tomorrow uh, at the same uh, schedule, the same time, okay? 8 p.m. Um, I want to give you, um, I mean, but I, what I want to do is to, um, tell you what you are going to do for this coming week, because we're going to do something. Let, let me just check if it is possible. Uh, if it is possible to share this link. It is Google, Google. Just let me be fine. What is Google? Google Podcast, Apple, no, this is not. Uh, Postcat, Google, here. Yes, this is the link that I want to share with you. Okay, guys, uh, just take a look at this part. Um, we are going to listen to um, a podcast. Um, there are some podcasts that are just 37 minutes, 20 minutes, 16 minutes. Uh, well, you have a lot of podcasts here about different topics. Uh, what I want you to do, oh, the, this is uh, Tech Talks Daily. Uh, they're good uh, podcasts. But um, what I want you to do is to um, choose one of them, okay? Choose um, uh, whatever you want. So and the, the, the ones that you uh, consider that would be uh, an in interesting uh, topic for you, um, and you are going to listen it. Try to uh, look for one that's just uh, 20, 30 minutes or less than that if you want um, and listen that podcast. And um, the class that we're going to have this coming Monday, yes, this coming Monday, it's going to be, um, you are going to tell me what is your podcast about. So basically what you're going to be working here is the listening um, skills and also speaking and skills. Eh, vamos uh, a estar trabajando esas dos habilidades. Listening skills, eh, porque nosotros vamos a escuchar el podcast 
y el speaking skill porque luego ustedes me van a compartir la información este, que ustedes hayan escuchado del podcast. Los podcasts vienen en diferentes eh, eh, categorías. Hay podcasts de sociedad y cultura, de educación. Aquí pueden ver ustedes este, los, los diferentes uh, como categorías de, de los podcasts. Hay de este, negocios, de comedia, de artes, etcétera, etcétera. Una infinidad de podcasts que ustedes pueden encontrar eh, y con temas muy variados. Eh, esos podcasts, este, generalmente eh, hay algunos que son bien largos, que duran una hora, eh, que otros que pues, duran dos horas, tres horas, pero son podcasts bastante largos, eh, pero asimismo podemos encontrar nosotros podcasts que son de aproximadamente este, eh, 20, 30 minutos, eh, de 15 minutos algunos, pero ustedes tienen que buscarlos en, en esta eh, página web. Y este, de ese podcast, lo que vamos a tomar es eh, sobre qué trata. Eso es lo que me van a compartir ustedes el próximo lunes. Me van a explicar so, eh, de qué trata ese podcast, cuál fue el tema este, que se desarrolló en ese podcast. Eh, para ello, vamos a utilizar la estructura del este, pasado simple. Como nosotros ya hemos escuchado ese podcast, este, ustedes lo que van a hacer es eh, compartir la información de lo que ustedes eh, aprendieron, de lo que ustedes este, logran recordar, si gustan tomen notas o hagan estructuras, ustedes deciden cómo, cómo lo hacen, cómo les, les conviene más hacerlo y eh, esa sería la actividad este, que estaríamos desarrollando el próximo lunes ¿Sí quedan claras las indicaciones de lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher Bye. Esto les va a ayudar Perdón, dígame. Pero mañana sí vamos a tener clase. Mañana vamos a tener clase. No, yo se los estoy dejando desde ya porque así ustedes tienen como eh, suficiente tiempo para poder este, eh, escuchar la, escucharlo si gustan por partes el, el podcast. Sí, por eso se los estoy dejando okay. desde ya. Sí, okay. pero clases mañana sí vamos a tener. Bien. Eh, créanme que este tipo eh, de, de eh, podcast les va a ayudar muchísimo a ustedes eh, para desarrollar este, la, la, la habilidad de, de escuchar en inglés. Asimismo, la pronunciación. Bueno, eh, estas son este, herramientas y, 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 y eh, actividades que nosotros debemos este, tomar con, como, como una cierta ventaja porque nos permiten ponernos en contacto directo con el idioma. Así que, eh, por favor, desarrollemos la Esperaría que todos, todos lográsemos eh, completar esta actividad y el próximo lunes, pues, todos compartan este, su experiencia eh, con el tema pues, que se está desarrollando en el podcast. Eh, los podcasts, como les digo, ustedes los pueden elegir. Elijan el que más le interese a usted. Como les decía, hay muchos temas interesantes. Bien, ¿tienen preguntas? ¿No? Bueno, no, si no hay preguntas... Sí. No, teacher. ¿José? No, teacher, no, teacher. Thank you. Ah, vale, está bien. Entonces, este, eh, nos quedaríamos hasta aquí. Eh, les voy a compartir el enlace, perdón. Eh, si lo pueden compartir, por favor, al, al... Voy a dejar de compartir esto. Lo pueden compartir eh, al grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, ahí está. Ya, ya está en el chat aquí de, de Zoom. Ah, Copienlo y lo pegan en el grupo de WhatsApp, por favor. Eh, eso sería todo. Así que desearles una este, linda y bendecida noche. Ah, nos vemos el día de mañana, siempre a las 8 eh, de la noche. Cuídense. Adiós. Bye, bye. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye, good night. Good night to everyone. Bye, bye.